everyone, so I'm gonna demonstrate how to file a 1701A using your Taxumo account. So normally, um, for 1701As or your annual ITR, this is the form that you use if you have chosen the 8% uh, flat income tax rate with the BIR. So most of the freelancers would file this particular form as their annual income tax form. So as you can see, when I log into Taksumo, this is the dashboard that I have. Um, you can now then go to settings just to make sure that everything is in order. So as you can see, you have your notifications above for Taksumo. So just uh, click on or off if you want to receive email notifications for uh, from us. Um, also double check your taxpayer details so in here you can see your taxpayer's name your tax identification number your email your birth date um, be sure that this is correct as this will be um, inputted in the form as well your registered address your zip code your RDO so be sure that you check your certificate of registration to put the correct RDO or Revenue District Office you'll see your contact number your civil status and then gender and then set that um, also this is a new feature for for um, your Taksuma account so you can add a new profile as you can see the applicable year that I have right now is 2020 here but if I want to add a new profile for 2021 I can do so by clicking on this green button and setting all of the business profile uh, settings or fields for this for uh, for this year so I'll do that later on but for this year I'd like to check just check all of your activities here that in settings that it's correct so line of business just copy your certificate of registration I want to file my taxes from be sure that this is the date when you received your COR if you are new uh, registered business or the date when you want to start using Taxumo and then you have your business type if you are a freelancer you're providing services if you have if you are selling goods then selling goods if you are both selling goods and services now income source should be income from profession if you're a freelancer for solely for from business these are for sole proprietors and mixed from business income this is for um, those who still have employment while freelancing note that if you choose the mixed from business and employment your form your annual ITR form that you need to submit will be the form 1701 and not 1701A so for this particular demo I'll stick to income from profession and then uh, this is the income tax rate uh, income tax rate or type so I'll keep it at 8% and then for taxpayers type since i'm a freelancer i'll keep it at professional if you are a sole proprietor then choose single proprietor deduction method it doesn't really matter if you chose eight percent and then for bmbe businesses click um yes but if not just click no but for this again for this demo this let's keep it at no so check that the forms that you are filing are um correctly pressed so you'll know if it's pressed or chosen if it's colored aqua so in this case my 1701 or 1701q is highlighted so i can pay my 1701a and then upload your certificate of registration and upload your signature and then save changes click on save changes don't forget to click on that okay so now the next thing i need to do is go to my cash flow so for my records um for your own records you have to see that it everything is updated key in your income and expenses before you file any tax form so we have a filter button here that you can just click to expand and then you can see for the year let's say 2019 if you have all of your income and expenses indicated here so you can also check by quarter if you wish or per month as you wish as well so don't worry in the future we'll have a search functionality for this as well but in the meantime you can use the filter button 
And then once you're done, you can also click on, oh, I forgot to mention that you can also download the template if you have your co a copy of your income and expenses um, in an Excel sheet. You can also download the template and upload ex an Excel file if you're switching to Taxumo from manually encoding in an Excel for file. And then next, if you want to pay your 1701A, just click on Tax Juice. Tax Juice tab is where you'll see all of your current filings, meaning the taxes that you need to pay for, past filings for the taxes that you've already filed. Um, note that if you have uh, taxes like this, which are unpaid, that means you've um, pressed until um, submitting the form, but you haven't really paid for it, so you can cancel filing. Just cancel it, and then you can file it again. And then for hidden filings, these are the forms that you probably already paid manually. So just hide the card. So all of the cards are here in hidden filing. So let's go to paying your annual income tax or your 1701. So as you can see in your tax juice tab, um, you have your tax card for your annual income tax, which is 1701A. The deadline for 1701A is on... <laughs> April 6, 2020. This is um, earlier than the BIR deadline, which is on April 15, 2020. The reason for this is that um, Taksumo's deadline is always earlier than the BIR's deadline. So just click on File Now. And then we've made it very simple for freelancers to go through and to file. So all you need to do is to read the text that is shown to you so before filing there are a few details we need fill out the fields below before filing your tax so um for the forms for this um number one excess credits from previous year 1701 so if you have excess credits or enter the amount you overpaid in your annual itr for the previous year in this field so if you've paid let's say ten thousand from the previous month or that means you have credits with them if your um the total was negative for the last idr then you can put the the, the number here that means you've overpaid that particular amount Income tax payments paid since start of the year. So this is the sum of all your income tax payments for quarter one to quarter three of the year being reported. If you filed your quarter three income tax filing via Taxumo, this field will automatically be filled up, of course. You can still correct the number manually. If you filed your quarter three filing outside Taxumo, get your quarter three filing, which is your 1701Q for quarter three, and add up the amounts rows 56, 59, and 63 of your quarter 3 filing. If you haven't paid any income tax payments, and this is the first time that you're actually doing it, and just, just enter zero. So this particular field is basically for people who haven't done any tax filings via Taxumo and have done or have paid their 1701Q outside of the system. So next, tax withheld for previous quarters this is the sum of all income taxes withheld from payments to you from quarter one to quarter three again this is for those who haven't used taxumo but if you've already in entered and inputted um your withheld tax forms or your 2307 forms then um you're good to go uh, if you've already entered it via taxumo but if not um here you can fill this up so um if you filed your quarter three filing outside taxumo get your quarterly quarter three filing and add up the amounts in rows 57 and 58 of your quarterly quarter three filing if you haven't received any tax forms for from your clients last year 2019 then enter zero so revenue for the whole year this is your total revenue for the whole year if you filled uh if you filed your Quarter 3 income tax uh, filing through Taksumo and have entered all your income for quarter 4 in Taksumo, this field will be filled up based on your data. You can, of course, still change the number here. So this is based on the cash flow. Remember the cash flow that 
you've filled out or the income and expenses that you've entered in the cash flow dashboard this is automatically um, filled out if you've done that so if not just feel free to key in your revenue for the whole year next for non-operating income for the whole year if you filed your quarter three income tax filing through taxumo you have entered all your quarter four income in a taxumo then this field will be automatically filled up if not you can change this number here so non-operating income for the whole year and then previous payment if this is a, an amended return if it's the first time that you're filing the 1701a using taxumo uh, or even manually then this is zero but if you you've already filed manually and you want to amend using taxumo then you have to um, key in details for this field key in the detail for this field so enter the amount that you paid in that previous filing here so next portion of tax payable allowed for installment so good news if you're paying your annual itr you can also pay it by um uh, via installment so this one you can pay now and then you can pay another one on or before october 2019 so this means you can choose to pay only a portion of the total amount due now so you can click learn more to see how much can you can actually uh pay for the percentage so here it says you can pay your annual income tax due in two payments the second payment can be up to 50 percent of total income tax due there. and then next discounts sales returns allowances and discounts so you issue if you issued any refunds discounts that should reduce the income you've reported enter the amount here if there were none enter zero I click on next and then the third page would be partnership revenue for the whole year. Enter the revenue you receive from any partnership entered into here. Partnership here pertains to formal partnership agreements. So usually, like if you are a doc, uh, you if you are a lawyer, uh, you have and you have partners, you can put your uh, part, the income that you earn from the partnership. So this field may be pre-filled uh, pre -filled if you use Taxumo to file quarter three income tax, income tax return and have entered all the partnership revenue. Okay. And then overpayment option. If your annual income tax would add up to negative, so meaning if the government would owe you money, so how do you want the government to give you back that money? So we would suggest just to carry it for the next for the next year or the next quarter um refund takes a bit of a uh, while to to receive usually based on the clients that we have talked to they get it close to like a year so it's better to just carry it over so just click proceed and then you'll see the summary of your 1701a form there so if you don't want to change anything just click on proceed and then you'll have the order summary here if you don't have anything to pay now if you have something to pay um, all of the different payment options will be shown in this page and just choose your uh, the option that you want to use so that's it for 1701a we'll have another video for 1701 uh, using filing 1701 using Taksumo.